Cat. It's Maximus here. We're talking about these Proto 49 Series ratchets. I call them 49 Series because this is a uh, 5449 half inch drive and this would be a 5249 3 8 inch drive. And I'm assuming the quarter inch would have been a 5049. I find these ratchets because they are just very simple swing pole ratchets. These actually came out in the 50s. We know this because this one's labeled Los Angeles. This one's just a little bit later when there was just MFD USA. That's how you can date Proto Tools. If they have Los Angeles placed on them, then they're usually the 50s or 60s. Although it kind of depends a little bit on the tools. It wasn't just like a hard date like 1956. Although some places on the internet seem to think right around 56, 57 is when Los Angeles stopped being stamped on Proto ratchets. You find these because these look just like any old cheap ratchet in a junk bin. And that's kind of the point of this video on these 49 series ratchets is that these were like Proto's basic edition. Um, there's all this talk about tooth counts, you know. We have this Milwaukee, which has turned out pretty well. It's a 90 tooth. These are 24 tooth. These are extremely coarse ratchets. You know, pretty wobbly anvils on them. These are just basic Proto ratchets. So it's just kind of show uh, that not everything, uh, especially from Proto, uh, really was that spe uh, spectacular of a tool, just regular Phillips head screws, although they do go through the head and into the bottom plate, so when you can rebuild it. But they just have a basic switch that, you know, just a stamped seat metal switch that you've seen on just so many cheap ratchets, <laughs> um, just, you know, swaged. And then the little swing poles, those are the ends of the poles right there. It's just one pole, and as you ratchet, you can see it bouncing around. We'll open this up in a second here. Proto did do the recessing of the switches, and that does seem to help. Later on, they went with brass, but early on, the switches were actually steel, so you could even see uh, a little bit of a quality drop. The reason the brass would be a quality drop over the steel is just because um, when you're stamping out these little switches, the overall manufacturing costs due to tooling wear and not as needing as heavy duty as stamping presses, um, brass, even though it's more of an expensive material, is actually overall cheaper than making them out of heavier duty steel. And to tell you the truth, there's only been a few proto ratchets I've really been a fan of. So let's open up one of these. I guess the only saving grace of these is they do have a pretty thin head. That was uh, how they ended up. Uh, it seems older days, ratchets are a little bit thinner, and what they've done is they've just reduced the width of the head and had to make it a little bit taller. Now, as far as old ratchets, like compared to a 1946, so this is be about 10 years older at least than these Protos, the right is super coarse. This is actually 20 tooth. It's one of the coarsest ratchets I have, but it certainly is a lot better because uh, some older manufacturers like right, tighter anvils, the way the switch mechanism works, it's a lot easier to hit, to tell you the truth. Pretty heavy duty little forged switch, and they actually have th three screws holding the ratchet together, so it's actually pretty reliable. Really like that. So even in Proto's own era, when these were manufactured, there's still other companies that made <laughs> better quality tools. Proto was always just basically, they were heavy duty tools. They were reliable tools um, at a better price. I think that's the easiest way to describe these things. So anyway, the even though at 24 teeth, I mean, it's a little crazy when you're trying to ratchet and you have to move the handle whoop, that much just to get a single click. You know, some people just wouldn't be able to live with that. So let's just pop this open. A couple Phillips head screws. I've already, oh, the ends of these screws are not happy. But they'll be happier and they will straighten the threads out by removing the screw. I don't think this ratchet's ever been open probably impact these screws out of here that screw I think is bent is it I think it is a little bit of a bent screw Let's see if we can get this plate out of here had the hammer on the back of that surprise the anvil has so much play when it is a through anvil and is supported on both sides and so just like the Pittsburgh Professionals or any of those ratchets that are still sold, uh, I believe Proto was uh, it, it was the originator 
and if not the originator, they had the earliest popular version of this, these basic swing pole ratchets, which have just been copied by this, the cheapest of, you know, Chinese manufacturers. Uh, it's surprise, surprising that Proto's, <laughs> Proto USA is the one who came up with the design. And of course, that's why they are so coarse is because they need to be able to have uh, a decent amount of cross section just for that one little paw sitting there <laughs> to get enough grab so it doesn't want to slip. And something else we can notice here, if you can see the edge, see how it's smooth on the top and then it has what looks like sheared off metal. So these were actually stamped and then cut in a machine. These aren't like individually forged paws. Those are... I mean, this is going to be a heat-treated tool steel, but nonetheless, you know, using pretty thick stock that looks like 316 stock, uh, nonetheless, those are technically stamped sheet metal ratchet pawls. So definitely uh, a price-competitive ratchet from Proto. Let's get this back together. So anyway, that was my uh, little review and talk about old these old Proto ratchets. And... I thought it was an interesting video that uh, a brand that's pretty well respe respected in uh, American made tools was actually one of the uh, purveyors and progenitors of what is, you know, one of the cheapest and most copied ratchet designs, <laughs> kind of like those cheap roundhead ratchets, which I think are all similar to SKs or something. Um, everybody who makes those swing paw ratchets are all similar to <laughs> the Protos. Anyway. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.